Hi there, thank you for signing up with OSAC International College. This is the video presentation to go through with you the PEI student contract. You should have received the contract by now and it would be good for you to have the contract with you as we go along. During the video, you should pause at the regular intervals to make sure that you have time to read up on the relevant sections before we actually explain it. If you are ready with the contract, we'll proceed now. A lot of you will be asking, what is the PEI student contract? For starters, PEI stands for Private Education Institution. This is a very important document to raise out the critical information and policies governing the relationship between us, the college, and you, the student. You may refer to the sample student contract here. The student contract is also an agreement between the college and you. A student contract is to protect you and minimize future disputes between you and the college. The contract is mandatory as directed by the Council for Private Education. The council is a government agency in charge of all private institutions in Singapore. The exact copy of your contract has already been approved by the Council for use in Singapore for all our students. Before we actually go through the contract, please take note of the following. You should check that the contract which you received consists of six full pages. You need to also check that the details printed on the contract are correct and make sure your name and identification number is accurate. As this is a legally binding document, you must read and understand every term and condition of the contract before you sign off. For the contract to be valid, the signatory must be above 18 years of age. For those of you under 18, please make sure that your parent or legal guardian is with you to go through the contract and this video together. For the standard PEI student contract, there are three main categories to take note of on the contract. The first category is the course information and fees. Second is the refund policy and last of the list is additional information. Let's start off with the first category, course information and fees. You'll find this information on page 1 under your personal details clause number 1. You'll find references and information and an attached schedule. Schedule A which provides details on all dates and times and related information that concerns you pertaining to the delivery of the course. Please take special note of the course and qualification titles, course duration and if you are doing it on a full-time or part-time basis. You'll find the course commencement and completion dates as well as the detailed schedule of the course. Course fees are listed in Schedule B which shows the total breakdown of course fees payable including taxes. If you have made the request to pay your course fee via installments, the exact payment schedule will also be displayed below Schedule B. It is very important that the installment plan is reflected here. So do get in touch with us if you have one of each which is not reflected in the contract. Schedule C is a very comprehensive table of the miscellaneous fees. It shows all optional fees that may be collected from you when applicable and when the need arises. These fees are non-compulsory and non-standard and may not be charged at all even till the completion of course. You may pause the video and take some time to read through the various purposes listed on the left and the amount payable on the right. With that, we have covered the portion of course information and fees. 
If you need time to digest the information, just pause the video and go through it further to understand it. We now move on to the refund policy. There are three categories for withdrawal refund. Let's look at the first. The policy for withdrawal regarding non-delivery costs due to lapse from the college or rejection from ICA is listed in Clause 2.1. If you choose to withdraw from the program due to the above, you'll be entitled to a 100% refund of all course fees and miscellaneous fees paid to the college. However, you should take note that the application fees will not be refunded in any situation. Another category of withdrawal is when the withdrawal is due to other reasons. As long as any of the situations which is listed in Clause 2.1 is not applied, the withdrawal falls under this category. Refund for this category will be based on the table that is stated in Schedule D. As long as the withdrawal is submitted more than 60 days before the course commencement date, the highest percentage of the course fees and miscellaneous fees will be refunded back to you. However, if the withdrawal submitted is more than 14 days of the course commencement date, the college will not refund any of the course and miscellaneous fees to you. The last category of the withdrawal is when the withdrawal request is submitted during the 7 working days cooling off period after the date that the contract has been signed by both parties. You will be refunded the highest percentage stated in Schedule D. Do take note that the 7 working days cooling off period supersedes any other refund policy that is in place in this contract. If you are affected under this category, the highest percentage will be applicable regardless of whether you have started the course or not. We have now covered the refund policy. It is important that you fully understand the policy before we move on to the next section. We are now going to go through some additional information which you should also know. This does not fall under any of the previous categories but it is also very important in the contract. You can find this additional information under clause number 3 in the contract and you should know that this contract falls under the jurisdiction of the laws of Singapore. With that said, you should be aware that if any specific part of the contract is deemed to be invalid by the laws of Singapore, it will not affect any other part of the contract. If any disputes arises and cannot be settled between us, either party can refer the dispute to the CPE Mediation Arbitration Scheme. We would like to assure you that all information given by you to us will not be given to anyone else, unless you agree specifically in writing. You may log on to www.cpe.gov.sg for more information. And with that, we have covered the entire contract. Before we end, I am sure that some of you will have some doubts about certain portions of this contract. You may drop us an email at enquiry at osac.edu.sg or contact us at 6732-5077 to get the right answer before you sign the contract. If it's all good, make sure that you double check this portion to ensure that your name is correct and the date input should be in this format. For those of you who are below 18, please make sure that both you and your parent or legal guardian sign off this portion as well. Once you have signed off, scan and upload the signed contract on this web page below this video. Thank you for signing up with OSAC International College.
Đại Dương là một trong những công ty du học đầu tiên và hàng đầu tại Việt Nam, được thành lập bởi đội ngũ các nhà quản lý và tư vấn du học có nhiều năm kinh nghiệm trong ngành giáo dục cũng như được tu nghiệp và đào tạo ở nước ngoài. Với hơn 10 năm kinh nghiệm, Tân Đại Dương tự hào là nhà tư vấn du học chuyên nghiệp cho các du học sinh tại các nước trên thế giới, đặc biệt là Mỹ, Úc, Singapore, Anh Quốc, Hà Lan, Thụy Sĩ vân vân. Cùng với đội ngũ tư vấn viên chuyên nghiệp, chúng tôi cung cấp các dịch vụ uy tín và trọn gói cho ngành du học du lịch Mỹ bao gồm xử lý trọn bộ hồ sơ đi Mỹ từ A đến Z, kể cả các hồ sơ khó đã từng rớt visa hoặc không đủ tài chính, tư vấn chọn trường tại tất cả các tiểu bang ở Mỹ. Chúng tôi tự hào là đại diện chính thức của hàng trăm trường đại học cao đẳng, trung học phổ thông tại Mỹ. Hướng dẫn các thủ tục xin visa, chứng minh tài chính, hướng dẫn điền form, dạy phỏng vấn du học du lịch Mỹ. Các giảng hàng tháng các lớp học phỏng vấn, đảm bảo cho học sinh có được sự tự tin trả lời được mọi câu hỏi của lãnh sự quán đặt vé máy bay, sắp xếp nhà ở, ký túc xá cho du học sinh. Với phương châm hoạt động là uy tín, chất lượng và mong muốn định hướng cho học sinh Việt Nam một nền giáo dục tiên tiến, môi trường học tập và sinh hoạt an toàn, Tân Đại Dương cam kết sẽ là người bạn đồng hành cùng học sinh Việt Nam trên đường tới chân trời tri thức. Mọi chi tiết xin liên hệ công ty Tân Đại Dương chuyên du học Mỹ, mặt tiền 148 sụt 1 Trần Quang Khải, phường Tân Định, quận Nhất, Thành phố Hồ Chí Minh, điện thoại 0838484879098900690. Website www.tandaidung.edu.vn